Cricket is one of the oldest sports still being played. It dates back to the late 1500s, so it's no surprise that it has some fairly old stadiums as well. We've only included stadiums that have hosted at least one men's international match. So here are the top 10 oldest cricket stadiums in the world. Coming in at number 10, Eden Gardens. Not to be confused with the Garden of Eden, is not only the oldest cricket stadium in India, but the oldest official cricket ground of any sort built in India. It's regarded as the home of Indian cricket. The atmosphere at this stadium is second to none. Derby County Cricket Ground was originally located within the Derby Racecourse, which is why it's also known as the Racecourse Ground. I assume they must have had an annual horse race there called the Derby Derby. But racing has long since ceased. Ironically, the England football team has played a match there, but not the England cricket team. The ground hosted two matches during the 1983 World Cup as a neutral venue. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? If so, you may as well check out this quaint little cricket stadium while you're there. Located a stone's throw from the ocean, North Marine Road Ground is known as the second home of Yorkshire County Cricket Club. But it has hosted two men's one day internationals. Viv Richards remains the only player to score an international century at this ground. Old Trafford is located less than a kilometre from Manchester United Stadium, the name of which escapes me. The pavilion at Old Trafford, while arguably not quite as nice as the Lord's Pavilion, still has a certain charm, especially considering it was hit by a bomb in 1940. Makes sense, I had heard that Hitler didn't like cricket, which makes me like cricket just that little bit more. The Melbourne Cricket Ground, or MCG for short, or just the G if you're in a real hurry, is nearly as old as Melbourne itself. It's the only stadium on this list to have hosted the Olympics, that being in 1956. It also hosted the Commonwealth Games in 2006. It was also the biggest cricket ground in the world up until recently, when India's Motera Stadium was built. And now onto the Sydney Cricket Ground, which was originally designated to the British Army for use as a garden and cricket ground, way back in 1851. Despite most of the stands being built in the last 40 years or so, the Ladies' Pavilion and the Members' Pavilion from the 1800s still remain. The mix of old and new gives the stadium a unique look. The Spitfire Ground, or St. Lawrence Ground, is famous for its lime tree that sits within the boundary. In 2005, high winds caused the original 200-year-old tree to snap in two. It was replaced shortly after, but the boundary has since been brought forward so the tree is out of the way. The Oval is one of the two stadiums in England that has hosted both England football and cricket internationals, the other being Bramall Lane. It also hosted the first ever FA Cup final. Before the cricket ground was built, the site was sometimes used for public executions which is a sport that doesn't seem to be too popular anymore outside of Saudi Arabia and North Korea and maybe a few other countries, which is a real shame. It's never good to see sports die out. Trent Bridge was founded by William Clark, a first-class cricketer who captained the All England eleven. It was built behind his wife's pub known as the Trent Bridge Inn. The pub is still there, 
but the original bridge that it's named after is not. It was replaced by the new Trent Bridge. And now to the home of cricket. Lord's Cricket Ground was founded over 200 years ago by another first-class cricketer, Thomas Lord. It's the largest cricket ground in England and arguably the most beautiful. It's famous for its Victorian era pavilion with its long room and the ground itself is notoriously on a slope. The mix of old and new is even more extreme at Lord's with a space-age looking media centre at one end and of course the 200 year old pavilion at the other. So there you have it, the oldest cricket stadiums in the world. Hopefully they stick around for at least another 100 years. After that, everyone will probably just be playing virtual reality cricket. Anyway, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And yeah, thanks for watching, have a good one.